Hi, I'm Terry with Lacrosse Technology, and we're looking at a number of the different sensors that are used in our Lacrosse Technology weather instruments and clocks with outdoor temperature. The reason we're looking at them is that uh, there are enough differences that it is important to know what we're looking at, uh, as well as how they mount. Some of the sensors, like this TX62, are solar sensors. You cannot change the batteries in this, but they are recharged through the solar unit. Uh, in use, you push the button and the sensor comes alive. The TX29 UDTH is similar in that it does have a display with the outdoor uh, temperature and humidity. This is a battery operated sensor. These two sensors look the same and aren't the same. One is a TX29 and the other is a TX37. And the only actual way to tell the difference is by the model number which is right below made in China and above the blank line on each. This is a TX6. Uh, it's used in a number of the different units. It has a completely different mounting and this little one is a TX38 and it too is rel relatively specific to the instrument it works with. Mounting types for these sensors are basically two types. This type which works only with the TX6, which clips into the top and the bottom. And of course it's been screwed into your wall or whatever you're mounting to. And this type, which uh, works for all three or all four of these other sensors in slightly different sizes. If you notice, there's a little detente here and the sensor just snaps in to that little detente on both sides and is then held up against the wall. These sensors also can be mounted standing upright using the detente and set up like this. TX38 uses the same style of mount on a somewhat smaller basis and this particular sensor, solar sensor, as well uses the same style of mount. Uh, the mounting is actually clear. It only hooks up from the sides like this. And that's the basic differences in mounting patterns for the sensors. With the exception of solar sensors, we recommend that all sensors be mounted on the north side of a house, if at all possible, to keep them out of direct sunlight. In direct sunlight, they will tend to read high. Also, mounting 12 to 18 inches below the, uh, the eaves of the house uh, helps to keep it dry in event of rain, uh, of rain showers. Nothing will protect it from blowing rain, but we don't want to subject any of the sensors to direct rain. The solar sensor typically is best mounted someplace where it will catch at least one hour of sunlight every day and just be in daylight after that. That one hour of sunlight will help to keep the batteries charged and prolong the life of the sensor. They will stay charged without direct sunlight but the life of the sensor does suffer when we do that. If you do need to buy a new sensor, uh, you can find the sensor information on the sensors themselves. The TX29 UDTH with the uh, display on it, again, right above the blank space. The TX38, a little bit harder to locate. It is, again, right above the blank space, but it's molded into the cover. The same thing with the TX6 sensor again right here or below the Made in China. And the easiest one is the TX62. It's clear. If you tell us you have a clear sensor, all you have to do is say does it give you temperature only or temperature and humidity. The one with just temperature is the TX62U. The one with temperature and humidity is TX62UITH.